through today, and today I just thought I'd make a quick little video. My friend's music is on. Here he is. Bestie number four. He just likes rocking out to these dogs right here. So he likes rocking out to. So I just thought I'd make a quick little video. I am currently working on a short sword right now. Um, one of these. This is the one I brought from that got from that huge haul. This is the one I tried to work on back in like 2010. And I decided I'd try to build it today since I got bored because I was just picking out all these pieces right here. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I'm going to try and attempt it. So I got this far. I just need to search for more of these bits right here. One more of these right here. One more of these handle bits right there. And then one more of these flat pieces. And then these pieces right here. Right there's the one I need next. And then one more of these weird things. See, I got lots to figure out. Today, I just thought I'd do a review on a Halo Mega Box set that I have not reviewed yet. Um, yeah, it's a Covenant vehicle. Largest Mega Box set Mega Box has ever produced. 3,350 pieces. It is the Covenant Scarab. Yeah, um, I haven't done a review on this guy at all. And uh, I just thought I'd do it. So, first off, let's just move on with the figures. So, first off, you get two of these sniper jackals that are way different from regular jackals because they have that sniper thing on their face. And uh, super cool. So, you get two of these little guys, and they come each come with a carbine. Now, let's move on. Here we have a Covenant Blue Commando with a fuel rod gun. Ultimately, one of my favorite weapons in Halo. And I like how they did it. Because that's about how big it is in Halo. And I like how they in involved that little clip right there. Commando. Nothing too much. You only get one of these. Blue eyes. Turquoise eyes. And dark blue body. Silver waist and everything like that. And you get... Uh, damn. I forgot the name. Um, oh, I forgot the name. An aesthetic. I think that's what it is. Aesthetic. And you get a, green, a blue energy sword. Again with the blue body, and then this time it's got copper eyes. Those are the figures. For that, oh yeah, and you also get a translucent prophet of truth. Okay, now let's just move on to details. Uh, this little turret on the side does not come with it. It came with a little battle pack, coming in a battle pack, and I just thought I'd put that on there just because I wanted to. So first off, this little piece can move up right there. It can stay up, kind of. And then you get... Sorry, this is a little bit dusty in here, but I forgot this. You get these blue, translucent blue pieces that involve the mouth, which uh, do fall out very easily, so be warned about that. This is just a gray, uncolored covenant uh, vampire piece right there, which uh, is just right there. And then you get the mandibles or jaws down here at the lower part that do move. It's very cool. The legs can move side to side, which I don't really want to do right now because you can see it's not in that big on the table. But it's got big old ball joints that you can see right there. And they are very circulated. This little piece in here moves. Uh, this piece is hooked on by this, which I don't understand why. Okay. And then very nice, these pieces right here can move in and out. So pretty straightforward. Then you get this little cockpit here, which I will take off here. In just a sec. Alright, well here's the cockpit. It's this piece right here that just comes off. It's just one big thing. It's just connected by four studs, a couple studs. And in here you get pretty cool. Two cockpit. And uh, very, 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 very nice cockpit right there. And then you do get a blue screen right there with little dots. There's kind of a better look at the screen for you guys. I know you guys can't really see it. But, uh, yeah, there it is. And then, yep, yeah, and then it's just held on to these little studs right here, which I'm going to put back here on. It just goes like this. And hold on, guys, I do need two hands to do this. All right, moving on. Uh, you, This little cockpit area, it's a big one, big piece. Hold on, I was missing a few, few parts, so this is supposed to be all the way here, but, and it's supposed to stay up, but I have to kind of hold up. In there, you get a nice little blue screen in there, which you guys can't really see. And then you get the carbine. Another carbine and a plasma rifle. And on the other side, you get another carbine right there. 
Oh, there's a look at this creature, guys. Then you guys can go down in there. It's like a little ramp. Very, very, very nice. This little ramp piece can go down. I was kind of weird and freaked out at first because I'm like, it's not staying up. But apparently, it's just supposed to be staying down. And yeah, nice little worm room in there. And another cool thing about these little things right there is that that's printed piece. No stickers included whatsoever in this set. And a very nice little piece right there. So moving on, you get a 360 degree head that spins all the way 360 degrees. Um, very nice. It can't cop pop off. It's about as big as my hand. Very nice. It's got very nice detailing on the inside. And uh, yeah, I really do like it. This whole piece can't come off. I, I was missing another piece. So there's a gray piece down here, right there, which is supposed to be purple, right here. It's supposed to be purple, so yeah. And hold on, my dogs are barking because they would like to. Okay, and then you get these little flat pieces up here where figures can stand. Again, this is not minifigure scale, so minifigures next to this look relatively large. So yeah, don't be bummed if uh, they're not minifigure scale. If this was minifigure scale, it would be gigantic. So the other thing is probably minifigure scale too. It is probably. No, not even. I was gonna say it's probably minifigure scale to grunt, but not even a grunt. So, again, legs very, 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 very nice. And what another cool little feature is on this is that this can pop out right there. Normally, that's where jackals could be shooting from and stuff, and that's where to actually get in to the uh, scarab. Except, no, it's just a little doorway right there, and it holds a little plasma pistol right there. This piece here does not open. Yeah, you get one of those doors on each side with each plasma piston. And then the back legs are a little bit more detailed than the front legs, I'd say. I mean, these things can move. At least I thought they could. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, these back ones cannot move. Just the uh, front ones can in general. So, yep, yeah, very nice there. And then, um, let's see, what else do we got here? Um, I don't know. That's pretty cool. You get little spots right here so that your jackals can uh, be moved. Your sniper jackals right up to stand right there. And then you get a little bit of protection right here. Uh, sorry guys, I can't not spin the sand in 60 degrees, but... See if I get you guys a view of the back. Right there. So, this little piece right here is a spot where it... It's like the hole. I'm not sure if you guys can see it down in there. But there's a blue piece in there. Light blue piece. So hopefully, yeah, you guys can barely see it. Right there. It's right in the center of the screen. And uh, that's the spot that you push wherever to detonate the entire ship. And down here is the lowest level to go. Let's go right through there. So yeah, it doesn't go under here. That little lower side just goes under there. So you can see it. Sorry guys, that wasn't the best video, but pretty cool. And you also get very, very, very nice detailing. Lots of nice detailing in here in general. This thing is gigantic. The body was huge. It took me three days to build it. And uh, yeah, as soon as I put the legs on, this thing was on my ground. It is gigantic. So yeah. Apart from the missing pieces, I'm okay. But, yeah, last time I was missing a whole bag, so I couldn't even build one leg. So, pretty cool. And uh, let me just put the figures back on, and I'll be back with you guys. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, well, that is the review for the Scarab. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely give this video a likes up, or a thumbs down. Uh, whatever you guys want, but I think this was a pretty good review. Sorry, guys, but it was very short. But, uh, yeah, hopefully next time I do a review where it's on the ground, and you guys get the whole 360 degrees around. But yep, rather than that, it's a very, very nice build. Very, very nice set in general. And uh, I really do like it. So yeah, definitely subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. Let's say the Family 3 signing out.